pleasure to be here, man. Oh man, I'm glad to be you. The busiest man in the nation. <laughs> All day. <laughs> yeah, the nation never sleep, baby. Like, like the Kevin Hart of the Cowboys, man. <laughs> Everywhere. Yes, man. I'm trying to be, man. Uh, somebody you probably can pull up uh, Twitter and uh, MySpace, and you probably see my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, indeed, man. And and a lot of people fail to realize that we don't like the Cowboys. That's the that's the craziest thing. We they love don't we love the Cowboys. So that's even right. when we chastise them, even when we talk down about them or bad about them. It's coming from a place of love, you know. Oh, and it's yeah. also to counteract Stephen A's of the world, the Shannon Sharps, because they, they got a chance to echo their thoughts and their opinions out to the masses. And right. they have no counter objective or no counter argument. Because who, who Max Kellerman? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman, they on the same page, but skip bayless come on now <laughs> right <laughs> that's to be their voice of reason on that it's certain things yeah. that they can't say because when, when you when you making content for uh-huh. you know for, for ratings is a little different like we kind of can say what we want whereas they have certain certain guidelines they got to stick to so some of those narratives don't even come from them you know it come from a production meeting or something right. like that Everybody votes on what we're going to talk about and who's going to be good cop who's going to be bad cop on this yeah one. they can't take the same position you know, they can't just all agree across the board all the time. Then it's not really a left contrast to keep somebody watching. You know what I mean? Yes, so they, 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 that's what type of time they be on. But when we when we go, we kind of just let ourselves fly off the cuff. So people just got to understand that, though. But, yeah, I, I say the same thing to people. I had to say that on Twitter, too. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't make content to hate. Like, people want right. to go back under the bus all the way now. I'm like, I asked the guy to make progress, and he's made mm-hmm. it. So why would I attack him now? Right. If I why should get rid of him now, you know, <laughs> for somebody right. else to benefit from this guy who can barely right. hit water if he fell off a boat his year one, year two, and year three, and now right. all of a sudden we seeing that yeah he got better foot placement and also he putting the ball right on the money at times. Now he right. still have some room to grow, and then I'll course. be I'll be idiotic to say that the guy's the next Joe Montana or Troy Aikman's of the world as it relates to his accuracy. He right. still got a lot to grow on, and I right. want—I would like to tell a lot of cowboy fans too that 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 put Amari Cooper in his high high ceiling over the window. He still got room to grow. Amari yeah. Cooper, as much as I love him, if you want to shut down Amari Cooper, you punch him in his mouth early and you shatter mm. his confidence, and you will yep. see the Amari Cooper of the Raiders land. But Amari right. Cooper, when you get him the ball early, when you put him out in space. Man, yep. you look up and say, "Man, this thing is the best thing since sliced bread." Yeah, so, when you don't press them. Yeah, yeah, you but, but 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 you can't get this type of flavor from anybody else because we're gonna be raw, real, and uncut. Uh, it's eleven o'clock where you at, Okoye? It's ten where I'm at. The kids should be in bed, so feel free to talk however you want to talk. It's no filter right here. It's unsugarcoated. The name of the show today is "Who Are the Dallas Cowboys." passes without throwing the ball a little bit in your own territory so sometimes it's there but i think we are a little too aggressive on that end of the field and a little too pretty on that end of the field too like we don't we don't really play it safe when we don't protect the ball well enough with our play selection yeah, when man. we're our backs are against the wall and we just been getting away with it you've been and getting we, away with it yeah. I, I think off camera right before we started we was driving right into that uh talk or conversational piece about Man, they are creative. We are seeing that, but yeah. everything don't match up well with one another. You you see a bunch of eyes, you see all five, what have you, and then you say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Do what got you there. All of a sudden, you see a shotgun formation, right. spread it out, and then I'm not sitting here saying that Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in this planet or on this planet. But whenever you have 355 passing yards, right? We had 355 passing yards. That should equate or equivalent at least at minimum three touchdowns, you see, right. or, or, or two touchdowns and maybe a bunch of field goals. But at the main thing, at the main thing I would want to see if you get 355 or you get 400 yards, that should at least equate or equivalent to three touchdowns. Right. What we're looking at when you look at stats, it can, it can kiss you at one moment and it can hurt you and bite you in the other piece of that same moment and when we right. look at the Dallas Cowboys having all of these gang of yards we having issues as it relates to money zone green zone red zone now we can talk about execution we can talk about formation but what I can tell you right now is that when we get into that money zone we just go like I don't know what else to do 
we Break do the down same what you thing think, over man. and over again, man. Yeah. Like when you just all you guys got to do, like I'll show you, I'll right. give you all all the key to this, right? Watch what we do when we get to the thirty. We did it against New England when we got to the twenty-five. We ran that double reverse, mm. and I'm like, why do we keep <laughs> running that cute shit when we get in the tw- to the twenty-five right. in their territory? We're in their territory. I mean, we in four down territory. Smack the ball up and and just, just so we can keep possession, run the ball. And if you're going to run it, don't run Zeke side to side. Run him straight at the line, man, mm-hmm. and and put hats on hats. We don't do that. We get cute and start running diagonally, or we do a reverse every time we get to the thirty. I've watched mm-hmm. it in like three, four games already. Mm-hmm. It's the it's our player choice. Now we might switch it up a little bit, change the window dressing, might change the formation. Right. The jet sweeper or the reverse guy might be Tavon one week. It might be right. Cobb X or it might be Pollard. But they do it every time. So if you watch and film, you you don't really have to. It ain't a guy you keying in on. It's a play style you keying in on. It's right. like they're gonna go right here. They're gonna go with a reverse right here, and they do it every time, bro. But every you, time we but get. You, to, but you know what? Third. You know what will solve all of that? <laughs> you know what will solve all of that? <laughs> Running the ball is deep. It is run. Even if you look up the analytics, if you do your own homework and you look up the analytics and it shows you right there. And say, oh, hey. yeah, yeah, said, don't, we don't need the rent. We don't need the analytics. He man. said we don't need it. But but but, but that's he, he, out of pocket, man. That, that's yeah. all the pocket, man. That hey, expeditiously, he need to figure out <laughs> using that <laughs> analytics. He need to find a way, bro. At the end of the day, man, I was, I was, I was watching that because I was like, man, the right. way we uh, the way we've been using Zeke at the end of the day man it, it don't make much sense for us to say zeke not performing mm-hmm. when you look at the style of runs that we run him out of the formations we run him out of and the way the line is playing when they run like zeke is literally looking he's peeking through holes not because he tiptoeing not because he don't got no burst at all because mm-hmm. he got enough burst to do something right peeking through holes because he know that those those linebackers on that second level and those safeties they're untouched they just they flowing over the top choosing what hole he going and our line only thing they're doing they're pass blocking you know, while stepping forward a little bit. That's what they're doing when we run block. Mm-hmm. There's nobody putting their head down, staying low, and driving people off the ball. The defensive line hits us, mm-hmm. and we just weather the storm. And if we blocked what we would call good this season, good blocking, run blocking this year, would be we didn't fall down or we didn't give up, uh, well, we didn't let somebody shoot a gap. Mm-hmm. That's not run block. To suggest videos um, and decide what kind of breakdowns we do here at Okoye Media, we allow our fans to join the conversation. And if you'd like to do so, make sure you head out to patreon.com backslash Okoye. For as little as $10, you can decide what our breakdown next. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Hopefully you guys uh, who, who, who are in my comments, who are constantly telling me what they'd like to see, head on out there and drop $10. It's not that much. And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll break down those topics. That's zone blocking. Like wow. we need to get off the ball. We got maulers for blockers, and they they're not allowed, or they just don't mm-hmm. move forward. When you see a run block and your guys are extending their arms, that's a pass block. Pass if block I'm pushing tech, a guy yeah. off me, I'm not supposed to push you off me. Mm-hmm. They want you in. They want you want them close to you, or you want to get them on the ground. They'll they'll bench press a guy off of him, and he's free to back up and go flow to the play. He should not. If I touch you as a blocker, your man should never get into that play. Yes, like, that's indeed. your job. If they two gapping on you, are they allowed to, you know, disengage? I know defense's job is to do that, but every play, like if you watch our plays, well, just look at the defense and look where they mm-hmm. at. They're they're very rarely on the ground, except for the Patriots game. We actually started off running the ball and was smacking them in their face. But other than that, nah. When you watch these games, man, it will annoy you. Between between the tens, meaning mm-hmm. from or between the thirties, we okay. Like we can get up the field. We yes, always indeed. in our opponent's territory, but yes, when we indeed. get over there, we if you throw three straight passes in your opponent's territory, mm-hmm. you've already let yourself know, and you let them know that you, your options are, are nil. You're not going no. for it on fourth down because it's going to be fourth and long. Fourth and run forever. the football. Slow it down once you get up there and run the ball. If you run through a tr- trick play or two, do it at the 50. Do yes, it at indeed. the 40 of your own territory. But don't wait till you get in their territory every time and do the same thing, man. Yes, indeed, man. Ridiculous. Good good, good call from my guy, Koye. Let me just do a quick house call, man. Shout out to Jay Reese for making the donation to Help Grow the Nation, man. I'm going to put your question at the end of it. But I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's on Facebook right now. Jay, Rich, and also uh, my, my girl Tamara. Really appreciate you for tuning in. Gambino, 
appreciate you for being in the house. And uh, who else we have? Andrea, really appreciate you. Nicholas, and as well as uh, Jason Garrett, he's in here. Uh, Jamestown and uh, Paul Brown. Man, we got some legends up in here, bro. <laughs> hey, Michael. Uh, uh, 